King Charles is searching for a skilled helicopter pilot to join the royal household, and this lucrative position may present the ideal opportunity for Prince Andrew to make a return, according to reports. The job offers a competitive salary and appealing benefits, which could serve as a perfect chance for the Duke of York to re-enter royal life after stepping back from public duties five years ago. Royal expert Richard Eden humorously suggested in the Daily Mail that this role might be the perfect way for Prince Andrew to reintegrate into royal affairs. The role involves transporting royals across the UK for their official engagements. Given Prince Andrew's experience as a helicopter pilot and warship captain during the Falklands War aboard HMS Invincible, he could be a suitable candidate. The royal household is seeking an experienced multi-engine helicopter commander to join the King's Helicopter Flight, TKHF a small team that provides high-quality helicopter services for the royal family. The job listing calls for extensive flying experience in multi-engine helicopters and expects applicants to demonstrate high levels of initiative, proactivity, and problem-solving skills. It also requires excellent communication and interpersonal skills, with a focus on promoting a safe, open, and honest working environment. Interested candidates have until 2355 on November 3rd to apply with a position offering a generous benefits package, free lunches, and an excellent pension plan. The advertisement states, The King's Helicopter Flight, TKHF, consists of a small team of pilots and ground support staff who provide exceptional helicopter travel services to members of the royal family undertaking official engagements across the UK. A 2024 report by The Express revealed that Prince Andrew and his late mother, Queen Elizabeth, were eager for him to serve on the front lines during the Falklands conflict despite some cabinet members preferring he stay in a desk role. According to Robert McGowan of The Express, Andrew bravely piloted a helicopter near HMS Invincible, drawing fire from Argentine jets to divert missiles away from the ship, as reported by the Scottish Daily Express. He also co-piloted a Sea King helicopter in a key rescue mission for sailors from the SS Atlantic Conveyor, which had been hit by Exocet missiles, an experience he later described as the most frightening moment of my war. The Falklands War began in 1982 after Argentine forces landed on the British Overseas Territory, long claimed by Buenos Aires, resulting in the loss of 907 lives, 649 Argentinian soldiers, 255 British military personnel, and three Falkland Islanders. Andrew reportedly flew a helicopter behind Invincible amidst attacking Argentine jets to make the missile swerve towards the helicopter instead of the ship, according to the Express's Robert McGowan.